This is just continuing from the original video, how they bleep you. In my chart at MIC, I mentioned one of the aspects for profiteering was the revolving door. This is a video about the Department of Defense. Unfortunately, the structure of the Department of Defense, the unelected portion of the government, which has the largest budget, is hardly mentioned at all in public school systems, although I think it would only take a few minutes to do it, so I'm going to do it now. I'll be going over the four major departments, putting some faces to these positions, as well as industries, because each face, regardless of what department they were in, continued to work for a major defense contractor before and after their position in the Defense Department. And when it came to Richard Pearl, he couldn't even wait that long. He went ahead and worked for major industries while he was in the Defense Department. These are the stories of Thomas White, Gordon England, James Roach, and Richard Pearl. Although only a partial story of the Prince of Darkness, because it's impossible to get into everything evil that Richard Pearl has done in 10 minutes on YouTube. Basically, we will be revisiting this demon in every video I make, nearly. This is all at the time of the Iraq War. Okay, so basically in the Pentagon we have the Department of Defense. And that's headed by, at that time, Donald Rumsfeld and Robert Gates of Iran Contra fame. And they have all their deputy secretaries and assistant secretaries and so forth. The main branches of the Defense Department are the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, and policy. And it's Defense for Policy that tells the other three what they're going to do. In the Army, we have the Secretary of the Army, Thomas White. Thomas White, of course, was involved with Enron. He was a senior executive of Enron. He unloaded 200 thousand shares or 12 million dollars worth of their stock in that scandal. I don't think anybody needs me to explain that. In the Navy we have an interesting character. The Secretary of the Navy was Gordon England and he went back and forth between General Dynamics and Lockheed Martin. He's president of both of those uh, defense companies, aerospace companies at different times. He passed the torch over from Lockheed to Lynn Cheney, Dick Cheney's wife. He went back to General Dynamics. Then he got a job in the Department of Homeland Security. He was the Deputy Secretary there. And the reason he left his position as Secretary of the Navy was because of a lot of pressure about profiteering and so forth. However, his replacement as Secretary of the Navy, who was named Colin McMillan, committed suicide, allegedly. And Gordon England returned to become Secretary of the Navy and made massive profits off the Iraq War. In the Air Force, we have James Roach, and he worked with Northrop Grunman. That's right. He was the vice president, and then he became the president of this organization. And they are on this list as well. Northrop Grunman's an interesting company to keep an eye on. They have an attorney named Douglas Fife, and they have a consultant named Paul Wolfowitz. Paul Wolfowitz, of course, was the Deputy Secretary of Defense under Rumsfeld. And guess who replaced him in 2005? Gordon England. That's right, and Paul Wolfowitz went to become the head of the World Bank. And then he was forced out of that after a scandal where the media said he gave his girlfriend too high of a salary, which was true, but that is not the reason why he had to leave. And I'll explain that later. It was much worse than that. So James was the VP and president of Northrop Grumman. He got in a huge scandal and was forced to resign. It was involved Richard Pearl, Trireme, and Boeing. There was a contract awarded to Boeing to supply hundreds of tanker planes to Iraq, $30 million worth. Now Trireme had invested $20 million into Boeing, Trireme, of course, of Richard Pearl. Then Boeing gets this fat contract, which was uh, approved by Pete Aldrich Jr. on his last day of work in the Pentagon. And what did Aldrich Jr. do after he resigned? He got a job with Lockheed Martin. James Roach was forced to resign as well though after uh, John Warner, uh, the chairman of the Armed Service Committee, got all up in his grill about that. And then on top of that, Seymour Hersh, the award-winning journalist uh, who broke the story about Abu Ghraib as well as the Miley massacre in Vietnam, dug into Trireme and found how they were connected to this Boeing fiasco and 
Pearl resigned from his position as the chairman of the Defense Policy Board, but he wasn't out of the Pentagon yet. He eventually resigned, and Fife resigned as well, after APAC got physically raided by the FBI. I'm going to cut the portions on Richard Pearl because I'm going to run out of time and I didn't want it to end halfway. I'd also like you to know that I made all these videos a long time ago and YouTube erased my account and removed all my videos. So now I'm just reposting stuff. So if you saw this a long time ago and wonder what happened to it, that's what happened to it.